a copycat fish. The new school year was about to begin, and Rainbow Fish and his friends were swimming around in excited circles. Attention, please, called Miss Cuddle. What can I call your name? Please swim into the case and we can start. Rainbow Fish, here, answered Rainbow Fish, flipping a special loop the loop past the teacher. As Miss Cuddle called the room, Dinah, Puffer, Rusty, Spike, Rosie, Pearl, and Little Blue crowded in the school cave. Tug, mustering up his courage, Tug tried flipping into the cave just like Rainbow Fish. I'm here, said stumbling into Miss Cuddle. I can see that. She smiled. Hey, what's my special move? Thought Rainbow Fish. First thing that morning, Miss Cuddle asked the younger students to sort shells by size and tiny babies, giant surf claims. The older students counted out pebbles and two cents a ten. Rainbow Fish had an idea. He counted out the ten pebbles and arranged them in a triangle. Then he counted out the ten more in the shape of a square, making shapes more than fun making piano piles. He was still doing this task. Tud looked upward to see what big fish were doing. Rainbow Fish slaps through more from his own straight line. He started pushing the lines on shells in a big circle. Stop, cried Little Blue. That's not how you're supposed to do it. Miss Cuddle carried corridor. Tug, I was hoping we could create a lot of shells to measure. Next time, let's pay attention to our own task. At snack time, Miss Cuddle offered algae or krill, maybe fish. Close algae swam off and Tug couldn't see that he had picked. I wanted whatever rainbow fish has. Tug admitted, looks like they've got ourselves a copycat fat fish. Spike laughed. Rainbow fish scrolled back. I've changed my mind, said I want krill. Me too, said Tug quickly. I want krill too. Miss Cuddle put all the algae away. Everyone was had krill today. Next time, I want to see each other choose him or yourself. Attention, Miss Cuddle. This afternoon, we'll be creating a garden. Tug and the teams, Rosie, Puffer, Digging, Little Blue, Dinah, Carrie Ranking, Pearl, and Rusty. You'll be in charge of garden spoiler. Tug and Rainbow Fish. You'll be teaming up with the plantain. Rainbow Fish couldn't believe his bad luck. Miss Cuddle had them with a little copycat. Tag pestered Rainbow Fish with questions. What should we plant first? Where should we plant it? There was nowhere for Rainbow Fish to hide his work. Nowhere for Rainbow Fish to hide himself. He felt trapped. Trying to ignore Tug, he shoved his plants in a way in which holes he wished he could solve Tug into a hole. Tug swam alongside Rainbow Fish. What should I do? I do what you want, said Rainbow Fish. You do it your way, I'll do it mine. Tug swam away sadly, turned around, came back. But you always look so much more fun than anyone else. That's the only reason I copy. Well, you shouldn't have someone else who copied you, cried Rainbow Fish. I don't know. I think it's fun to do things together. When I'm older, little ones copy me. I think I'll like it. Rainbow Fish felt f fixed up. Part of the soul bowling in a tug. Another part could see Tug Mint. He didn't know what to do. He looked across the garden and suddenly realized what he could create. A big mess. I ruined it, he cried. Wait a minute. I have an idea. What if you put the tall ones in the back of the mist sorted with the front? Like the one sorted cl clamshells. That's a great idea, said Rainbow Fish. I've... I'm very proud of each one of you working together to create such a beautiful garden. And at the end of the day, Rainbow Fish felt so happy to photo the beautiful new garden and looked to look good by flip. Then the others followed, admiring their work. That's King Tug, remembering the Rainbow Fish had always had an idea to tug together. Zoom could say goodbye. He had zigzag around the other fish. It was so much fun, he did it again. Zoom and zag and zag. Hey, nice move, yelled Spike. Want to swim home together, asked Rainbow Fish. I can show you how to f do my flip, and maybe you can show me how to do that zigzag. Sure, said Tug. He and Rainbow Fish swam side by side all the way home together.